One of the most annoying things in web development is responsive design, especially when it comes to text, because oftentimes you'll get titles that look like this, where a single word moves onto another line, or maybe you'll have a paragraph where a single word is on another line. This is generally not a very good looking site, so luckily we have CSS features that can actually fix this. If we want to be able to make our text balance across all lines, we can use the text wrap balance property, and what that's going to do is it's going to try to make it so that every single line of text is about equally as wide as all the rest of the lines of text. So you can see my title now, both lines are about equally as wide as one another. It'll try to get as close as possible. If we move this down to our paragraph, you'll notice again our paragraph, all the lines are about an equal width for each other. Now, generally, when you're working with headlines, balance is really good because that's generally what you want. You want to have an equal amount of text on each line because it's usually one or two lines. When it comes to actual paragraph tags, though longer pieces of text, the pretty wrap is a much better version. What pretty wrap essentially does is it prevents it from there being a single piece of text on one line. So now you can see we have two words at the end of the line here instead of just one single small piece of text. If I remove this, you can see we go back to that one line of, or one word. And while I bring it back, you can see now we have multiple words. So these two properties combined together make it really easy for you to just make it so your text looks a little bit better across all different screen sizes, and the CSS will automatically calculate exactly how many lines of text and where to put your line breaks. Now, unfortunately, browser support isn't perfect for these. Balance is in pretty much all browsers. It's in all major browsers. It's about 90% right now, but Pretty is not in Firefox or Safari currently. But the nice thing is, is if the property doesn't work and it's not available in that browser, it just falls back to not being there and it still looks fine. It doesn't break your site. It just doesn't look as good. So it's a really great progressive enhancement that you can start using even if not all browsers support it.